Welcome everybody to another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing. I'm your host David. Here it is April 5th, 2023. And we're going to be fishing in the bay boat today here in St. Joe Bay in the Panhandle of Florida. And I've given myself a challenge today. I've got till 2 o'clock to get a keeper trout, a keeper redfish, and a keeper Spanish mackerel. So come along, see if I'm successful, and let's go catch some fish. All right, so we've made it back to the back of the bay. We've got the wind coming from this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drift this way. All right, so we're gonna start out with the top water this morning. This is a moon walker, a salt strong product. Um, top water can be great early in the morning like this. You've got low light and I've got relatively shallow water, um, calm seas. So um, if you follow my channel, you know I love top waters. That's probably my favorite lure. So we're gonna give that a shot this morning for our trout and redfish and see if we can't pick one of those up early this morning here. Ooh, wow, I don't know if that, oh, got him, oh, come on, buddy. That trout came out of the water like a dolphin. Ooh. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him, got him, got him, got him, all right. But it looked like a redfish. It looked like a big one, but he's not pulling that hard. I didn't get my net ready, y'all. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. He knows he's hooked now. All right, yeah, it's a redfish. Look at this redfish, y'all. I thought he was a big one. I can't tell right now, let's see, let's see if we can get him up. Oh, he got off. Oh, I hope that got on film. That was a nice redfish. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. That is a heartbreaker. Oh man. <sighs> oh, got him, got him, got him. I think this is a trout this time. Boy, they're just swimming at me. It's the strangest thing. He's a keeper, y'all. No, he's not gonna be a keeper. Gosh, I'm just still sick about that redfish. Well, he's a he's a trout, nonetheless. Okay, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh yeah. No, don't tell me he got off. No, 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 no. No, he's a good one. He's a good trout. Good trout, good trout, good trout. All right, let's stay on the hook. He got off. What is going on, y'all? Oh, man, these are heartbreakers. All right, so I've moved back into these shallow waters again where I got that redfish and those trout. That was a nice redfish. That was a size I hadn't caught in quite some time, I think. The trout looked real decent too. But sort of criteria for me for getting these, counting the fish is if I get them in a net. So those didn't count. But I'm getting some little hits already. Oh, 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 good hit, good hit. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Come on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, it's our good fish again. 
it's our good fish again let's just stay on oh let's stay on stay on stay on stay on where's the net oh oh what have we got it's a redfish it's our good redfish again y'all we may have been given a second chance we may have been given a second chance may have been given a look at him there's another one with him another one of the same size with him yeah let's go around this way oh come on buddy come on i hope your hook's good this is a good one y'all this is the good one again may have been given a second chance Yeah, there's definitely a little school of them. There was one of the same size with them. Here he is. Yep, he's a good one. He's a good one. Are we going around the boat again? Let's go this way. I'm afraid to turn his head boat again afraid to turn his head for popping the lure out let's see if my long arms are long enough I got him in the net. Yes. Oh, come on. Nope. Oh, I got him. All right, y'all. I got him. I got him in the net. He may be too big to keep. Let's see. Look at this guy. Dang, y'all. All right. Redfish number one. All right, well, we were given a second chance. Look at this. Oh my gosh, he was barely cooked. He wasn't even in the mouth, it was hooked. It looked like up under the mouth. We were definitely given a second chance. All right, let's get him measured. I know we gotta go to the big ice chest. All right, he's gotta be under 27 to keep. And he is not. He is 28 but look at this redfish y'all look at this redfish get him in the sun look at that redfish all right look at that redfish got the standard one spot on both sides so we're gonna let him go we got our redfish there he goes Thank you, Redfish. Thank you, Mr. Redfish, for giving me a second chance. All right, we have some new life in us now. All right, so we're gonna go for some trout now. Surely may pick up another Redfish, but, you know, trout hit this top water as equally or as more as Redfish. We're gonna stick with this top water. I'm a little leery of it for not hanging onto those fish. It's got the two inline hooks on it, which I like better because, you know, when you use the net to get the fish up, the lure doesn't get quite so tangled. But I don't know if it, that decreases the hook set or not. I've certainly lost plenty with a treble hook. And it just doesn't, with that treble hook, you just get multiple hooks in the fish and it's, you know, they're flopping around. It's just, it's just kind of hard to deal with. These inline hooks are a lot easier to deal with. All right, we're getting a little deeper. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this paddle tail, eight ounce weedless hook with the Slam Shady Bomber on it. Let's see if that doesn't pick up a trout. We're about to drop off into some deeper water. Sometimes that can hold some fish. All right, so we're pushed back in shallow again, about as far as I can 
safely go. We got some points over here. We may get somewhat close to that as we drift. All right, I've switched to this um, Fred Paddle Tail. It's a Salt Strong product. It's a little bit smaller profile. Um, this is a three aught hook. I'm still with that eight ounce weedless type hook. Oh, oh, I got him. Got him, got him, got him. I think it's another redfish. It's another redfish. Boy, they come to the boat so easy. It's like they're swimming towards me. Yep, good redfish. He didn't want to come in, did he? Good redfish. Let's get you in. Maybe he's a keeper. He doesn't look as big as that other one. Let's see if he's a keeper, if we can get him in here. But I switched that little bit smaller profile. The other redfish was caught on the top water. Oh, he got off. How are these fish getting off so much? Wow, that's pretty frustrating. Oh, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, that's our trout. No, that's our Spanish. That's our Spanish. Nope, it's our little tiny trout, but he got off. It wasn't big enough, but it's a trout. I didn't mind that one coming off. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Boy, I'm glad I switched to this Fred. It is just on fire. What have we got here? A pinfish. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call that on fire, actually. Oh, another trout. Got it here right at the boat. It's too small, but I'm getting trout, y'all. Getting a little bit closer. Just need to get that keeper. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. This is a trout. This is a trout. This is a trout. That's a lot of hope in my voice there. I don't know, he's staying down. It might be a redfish. Let's see if we can just keep him on. Regardless of what it is. All right, where's the net? All right. What have we got here? Oh, we got a good trout. We got a good trout. Got a good trout. Got a good trout. Got a good trout. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got a good trout. so hard to do by yourself. I think you might keep. All right, we got the keeper trout. We got the keeper trout and it's my dad. He senses victory or closer victory. All right, well, we'll call you back in a few minutes, dad. Let you know how it's going. Look at this, y'all. I hope this you can see this. I mean, we have are barely hooking these fish today. I don't know why that is, but we're barely hooking them. The ones that we've gotten in have just, you know, barely been hooked. All right. So he's he's a good 17 and a half. All right. Look at this guy. Let's get him in the sun again.
All right, well, two of the three species have been caught. We'll take him home for dinner. So we gotta go after a Spanish macro now. So what I think we're gonna do, that's the edge of the bay and it runs all the way out as far as you can see. And all that's where you've got some sand and grass flats that drop off from five feet to about 30 feet. So that's gonna be the plan. We're gonna move out there and see if we can't troll for some Spanish mackerel and pick one of those up and complete our challenge for the day. Let's get a time check. 11.39, so we're doing okay. This is high tide right now too. So that'll give us some a good, good time to get over there before the tide starts moving again. All right, we'll see you at our trolling spot. All right, so I've got to where we're gonna be trolling. And so we're just gonna troll straight this way. Now let me get these lines out. I forgot to bring one of my SD cards for my boat mounted camera. So everything today is gonna be on my chest. Not the greatest footage, but it'll do. All right, so I got these out. Kind of what I like to do when I'm trolling these two rigs just off the back of the boat like this, is I'll put one rod a little shallower and one a little deeper. So, and how I do is I count when I'm letting it out. I count it to about 10 to 12 to this one. And I counted about um, 15 to 17, 18 on that one. So this one's gonna be a little deeper and this one will be a little shallower. Helps you kind of find the fish, I think, but also um, hopefully helps them keep from getting tangled because they're at different levels. All right, it's 1221. So we'll see, hopefully we got about an hour and a half to get a Spanish mackerel. All right, 101, got 59 minutes left. Hopefully we can grab a Spanish mackerel and complete our challenge. One forty. Got twenty minutes left. Come on, Spanish. Come on, Spanish. Got him, got him, got him. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, is he off? No. Ooh, what have I got here, y'all? This is a Spanish. He's a big one. I gotta drag a little bit. What is this, y'all? What is this? Well, there was a, we were in about 25, 30 feet of water, and then it jumped up to eight feet of water. And that's where this guy came from. This is not a Spanish. We got two things, y'all. All right, gonna have to tighten this drag down a little bit. All right. I just saw something jump out there. He might have got off this other rod. This feels like a shark. But... I don't know what this is, y'all. Just hope we can get it, get it up. Ah! Oh. Broke off. Let's see if this other one's still on. That could have been a king mackerel. And there was no way this outfit was gonna get get that big king mackerel in. Oh no, he's still here. All right, we got another chance. We're just getting all kind of second chances today. Just love to see what this is. This is not that big of a leader on the end here, and this is a this is a king mackerel. And it's gonna be tough to get this in without him cutting it. I think, I 
think I'm just going to kind of wear them out. I'm afraid to put too much pressure on them for breaking the line. Oh, broke the line. Well, I don't know what those were, but if I had to guess, I would guess a king mackerel. We've got four minutes left, 156. So we'll use these four minutes. One of the, this line over here got the end, end Clark spoon bitten off. So it's just got those straw jigs. This one was intact. He just literally got off. Kind of matches the pattern for today. Losing a bunch of fish after they've been hooked. But having them hooked for a while, you know, it's not like I had them hooked and then, you know, a second later they were gone. I, you know, I had them close to the boat. Well, not this one, but those redfish and, and trout were close to the boat before they got off. Got them again. Whoa, oh man. Got him again. Oh, two minutes to spare. Is he still on? No, he's off again. Let's see if he'll come back. Oh man. What is what are these things? Put it back in gear. Two o'clock, well, 201. We didn't get our Spanish, but I sure would like to know what was getting on the line there three of them all right well that'll do it for today all right I'm gonna go ahead and head on back in it's just a little bit after two we didn't get that Spanish mackerel to make our third fish of the challenge but you know we did get a nice red fish and a nice trout and caught some other nice red fish too those were um, some of the bigger ones I think I've caught in some time and those uh, I guess king mackerels at the end those were fun to catch too so it was a good day overall. If you like this kind of video where I give you on the water action as well as give you my tips and tricks to find and catch fish, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. It really lets YouTube know we're starting to build something over there and, and lets me know I'm putting out content that people are enjoying. And for those of you that have subscribed already, I appreciate you each and every one of you. So until next time, I hope to see you on another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing.